せーのでもそんなんじゃダメもうそんなんじゃほら心は進化するよもっともっと I'm going to talk about a cultural anime. The sauce is in the video. Please look for it carefully. If you don't know where to watch it, Google and Incognito are your best friend. The main character has a serious medical issue that we all would not like to face, or someone might like it. Well, he is producing too much protein, and bad thing will happen to him if he did not dispose those excessive protein every three hours. To make matter worse, he broke both of his hands one day, and he has no way to do his solo let's play. He is not flexible enough to clean his own Excalibur the climate-friendly way, so he has no choice but to get admitted to a hospital to get some hospitality. The nurse are going to give him some medical treatment by aim assisting him so he can survive this ordeal. <laughs> when he is at the hospital, he is very worried because he has heard a lot of rumor about this hospital. All the nurses here have very rude attitude. Suddenly, a nurse called out to him. She introduces herself as Tashibana, and she is in charge of his aim assist this week. He told her that he is going to burst soon. She is reluctant, but she has no choice but to help him out, because this is her job. <laughs> so, she immediately start the treatment by giving him a helping hand. This is his first time getting aim assisted, so he is feeling great. In the meantime, she looks very disgusted because she has to aim assist him. After a while, he released a lot of fresh organic protein. Just when she thought that it is over, he told her that his protein is oversupply, and he usually disposed of them two or three times. She is so done with him, but this is her job. His Excalibur is still dirty, so she cleaned it the climate-friendly way. This is also his first time getting this eco-friendly hospitality, so he immediately gave her a lot of fresh organic protein as a tips. However, she looked very disgusted and angry, I wonder why. In the meantime, he is very afraid of her, because she looks very mean and scary. He hopes that he can discharge from this hospital soon. <laughs> After a few hours, he needs to go to the washroom, so he called for her. She is reluctant and told him that he has two functioning legs, so there is no problem for him to walk to the washroom. He wants her to stabilize his Excalibur. When she is helping it, his Excalibur suddenly ready for battle. She noticed that and look at his Excalibur in scorn. Well, that is pretty rude, because that is the legendary Excalibur. After he finished his business, he wants her to aim assist him again, since his Excalibur is ready for battle. She has no choice but to help him again. However, it is different this time. She bought a holy relic so the medical treatment can proceed smoothly. As usual, he disposed a lot of protein in a short time. On the next day, she is going to carry out the treatment again. He apologized to her for having a huge amount of protein. She does not give a shit about it. She is pretty angry too. <laughs> she wants to change the treatment this time. She is going to take on his Excalibur. He is worried about her, but she keeps talking shit about him. He could not complain because it is his fault for having this illness. He is naive and thought that she has feelings for him. She became very angry and disgusted at him for having that thought. She told him that she is just doing her job and politely asked him to shut the fuck up. One night, he is roaming around the hospital. Hashibana found him and asked him to return to his room for the medical treatment. He told her that he has an emergency now. So, she brought him to a washroom to administer the treatment. Since they are running out of time, no protection is used during the treatment. After that, Hashibana left him alone and went to the nurse resting area. When he walked past there, he heard her voice. She is talking with other nurse about him. She keeps talking shit about him all the time. It seems like she really hates and despise him. After a while, he could not take it anymore and opened the door. He told her that it is not his fault for having this illness. The least they can do is stop talking shit about him. 
he is going to report to her supervisor. She became angry and asked him to follow her. She is going to administer his treatment for the last time. Since her duty is over soon, so, as usual, she helped him to dispose a lot of protein. Before she left, she asked him to brace himself because the other nurses might be worse than her. On the next day, a new nurse is going to be in charge of him. She introduces herself as Kurikawa. She is different from Tashibana. She starts the treatment by giving him some helping feet. After that, she showed him a video about his treatment. It seems like she has recorded the medical treatment in 4K. I guess she is going to upload that and get sponsored by Raid Shadow Legend. For his next treatment, he wants her to clean his Excalibur the eco-friendly way. Uh, that made her very angry, so she is not going to do anything but stare at his Excalibur. For some unknown reason, he managed to dispose his excess protein. On the next day, she brought him to Tashibana's locker and administered the treatment there. She wanted him to decorate her locker with his exquisite protein art. After that, Tashibana suddenly entered the room and called out to them. Kurakawa saw that and immediately used his Excalibur as her weapon. She managed to use it flawlessly and use Protein Blast on Tashibana. Hey yo, what the f <laughs> After the protein blast, both of them left her alone. It seems like Kurakawa does not like Tashibana. He is very angry at her because that might cause Tashibana to hate her. Well, I guess he is still very naive and likes toxic relationship. <laughs> he talked shit to Kurakawa and that ticked her off. So, she is going to punish him by taking on his Excalibur without follow the standard operating procedure. Well, that is not a punishment at all, unless he has to pay for child support in the future. <laughs> what the hell? After the week is over, a new nurse is going to be in charge of him. She introduces herself as Yamaguchi, and she has an electric element holy relic. He is shocked after seeing that. Well, he is going to be shocked later. She starts the treatment by giving him a shock therapy. That shocked him and he immediately disposed a lot of protein. After that, she gave him some helping hands and feet to finish the remaining treatment. On the next day, she brought a new holy relic again. It is an electric drill which has been enhanced with a holy relic. Well, that shit is too strong for him to handle, and he is done in less than a minute. Oh, Yamada! Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go again. After that, she brought another holy relic again. Damn, she must be the master of holy relic. It is a vacuum cleaner with a holy relic as attachment. At this point, she is going to speedrun this shit out of this medical treatment. He kept asking her to stop, but she missed the part where that is her problem. After that, he wants to run away from her. He could not handle her medical treatment anymore. However, he could not escape from her. He met her at the hallway, and she brought him to the linen room to administer the treatment. However, her personality suddenly changed, and she has turned into a complete different person. She is not using her holy relic for the treatment. In addition, she is not mean to him at all. He is very surprised by this sudden character development. Well, it seems like she is interested in someone, so she wants to ask him for advice. He starts to give her some legit advice, and that made her very angry. Now, that is some top 10 women moments. Anyways, she returned to her old self and continued the treatment without any mercy. In the meantime, the head nurse realized that his bone is not even healed at all. This means that he is not going to be discharged anytime soon. <laughs> I have no idea what did she smoke every day, but I would love to have one. He is not getting healed at all, and getting treated like some kind of trash. Look on the bright side, at least he can discharge his protein every day. Anyways, a week has passed now, and a new nurse is going to be in charge of him. She introduces herself as Hiramatsu, and she looks quite gloomy. Wait, she is just tired of her job. She starts the treatment as usual. However, she looks very uninterested in that. <laughs> After he disposed his protein, she left him alone. On the next day, she brought a lot of food and snack. She told him that she is going to eat those if she is hungry. 
This means that she is going to stay beside him, so she can administer the treatment without walking a long way here. Now, that is some big brain moments. She asked him to help himself for the treatment. He can do whatever the hell he wants as long as he does not bother her. So, he makes himself at home and disposes protein using a lot of different method. In the meantime, she is either playing phone or just reading book to pass the time. She did not give a single fuck <gasps> about him. After that, she just fell asleep. He noticed that in his Excalibur is ready for battle again. He does not want to wake her up, so he is going to administer the treatment himself using her as the medium. Although he disposed his protein directly into her without any protection, she still does not give a shit about that. Because sleeping is more important than that. After a lot of treatment, he is very satisfied with her 5-star hospitality although she did not do anything. All she has to do is be there for him. He hopes that she is always in charge of him. However, her time is up, and the next nurse is going to be in charge of him. Her name is Numajiri, and she is also has some serious issue. Well, you have to watch the original source to find that out. Basically, she is doing the infinite food glitch by feeding him his own protein. He is so done with this crap and wants to find the head nurse as soon as possible. <laughs> he is hiding from her because he does not want her to treat him. Anyways, when he went to the nurse office, he asked the nurse there and she is hesitating. It seems like she is afraid of something. By the way, her name is Machizuki. Yumajiri found him, and she also wants to discipline Machizuki for chatting with a patient. I guess she is getting bullied. Yumajiri brought both of them to the rooftop to discipline them. They are going to start an educational medical live stream in front of the patients. Numajiri wants him to use Machizuki for the treatment. It seems like she is a cultural woman who always do solo let's play whenever she has the chance. Well, anyways, she gave him the treatment as usual. In the meantime, the other patients are watching that educational live stream in 4K. Well, the rest are the same as usual. There is a lot of fucked up shit, so I think I am done here. Well, that is the end of my recap for this cultural anime. This anime currently has 5 episodes, and it is animated by Pink Pineapple. These are the comments and feedback for this anime from a cultural website. Anyways, episode 4 is the best episode for me. So, which treatment and nurse do you like the most? Let me know in the comment section below after you watched it alone.